Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back today with a magazine haul. Um, a couple of these come for the post from my subscriptions and this one here, Papercraft Essentials issue 160 that I picked up in the shop. So I just felt like treating myself to a magazine. Um, so this one comes with a free embossing folder, which has this kind of, I guess, sea-like or kind of mermaid-like, what do they call it? Sashiko corner. Don't really know what that is, but that must be a type of design, I presume. Comes with that embossing folder. Um, and it comes with these stamps and some coordinating dies. So I've stuck them onto the magnetic sheet because I've already been using them. And there, were, there was a die for the anchor, but I seem to have dropped that on the floor somewhere. So I have to find where I have put that. So I'll show you a bit more closely. As you see, it's all sea related. That's what sort of tempted me in um, and the magazine as always comes with ideas on what you can do let's move that up a tiny bit with your stamps and dies an embossing folder there's lots of this whale tail um, and it's also got oh, noisy I've got it open because it's so hot that I mean I've got the window open but it's so hot in here had this um, here there and everywhere set which I've got the die cuts and the chipboards and the stickers and things so I was using it for my New York album so that kind of was like oh that's something that I own um, and I was also tempted because I had some ideas using all these lawn fawn sets this has kind of fallen out because I've been reading it um, and I love lawn fawn and that's the paper that's under here so cute and I've got that stamp set as well with the mermaids because that's a lovely one so it comes with all these kind of pull out ones that have pulled themselves out and I was quite tempted by these, you see these lovely Winnie characters showing you how you can use them, but they come in die cut form, a bit like the gorgeous girls. I was like, oh, I want to buy those. And I looked and saw they're about £15, so I might have to, to wait on that for a little bit, see if they come up in a sale. So yeah, lots of different ideas as ever. Um, and I always enter the competitions as well, after having won one once in these magazines. That's Papercraft Essentials, so I'll show you what I made using those. So I used um, this stamp set here, stamped it and then paper pieced it with different pieces and then covered it in some glossy accents. And I guess it's a bit like a porthole. So that's just a die that cuts that kind of wood grain effect and some distress inks. Um, and then I just add uh, kind of a two circle, you know, two, cutting with two circle cutters bit of a border there so I don't know if it really looks like that but it's quite good fun to paper piece it all because I kind of felt I had that sort of stained glass effect so it's not a fantastic car but it was a bit of fun to make apologies for whoever started strimming outside probably somebody to do with me no my luck um, and this is the other one that I made so I had this idea as I was lying in bed I was like oh I really want to make one that kind of folds out like that and that's using all the different die cut pieces not too sure and what I think about that one either but it's quite cute and then the background's just using a bit of a stencil to get the clouds so all these stamps to shut that window in a second um are from the set hang on let's shut out that noise so there you go and have a whirl of a time so that sentiments from that stamp set as well so that was quite a good fun and this obviously is the embossing folder so I decided to trim the, the corner bit off so it comes like that so I trimmed off that bit and then stuck it to make this one that pulls out so that's what I've made so far using those stamps and dies so that one costs 6.99 it says what a lot isn't it for a magazine but there we go who knows why I purchase these things um, and then this is tends to be the magazine that I buy the most this is one I got for the subscription for because I really like it and it came this time really good free gift so let's show you the magazine first Simply Cars and Paper Crafts number 178 um, and it came with the Christina Griffiths Best of Card Making Magic stamp set so you get all those different stamps obviously they're just acrylic stamps they're not fantastic quality that will last a long time but you know I I'd get bored of stuff quite quickly and it came with matching dies for four of them and I just absolutely love this butterfly with that and um, I looked through it the different ideas of course 
that they gave us in the magazine. So let's flip through, you get to see all the different card ideas and just love these ones. They look like they were on vellum or something. And I was like, I must stamp that onto vellum. So that's what I had a go at. Um, butterflies just look beautiful, don't they? I haven't had a go at these flowers yet, but they're very cute. And then you also get some digi stamps, which appeal to me because they're these dogs. We know how I love my animals. I just love that um, Dalmatian there and a kind of golden retriever, I suppose that one is. Let me show you all the different ones that you can get. I haven't downloaded any, but I might do that and actually print them out. I've said this before, but I did do it one time. Didn't show you it, but I did print some of them out. Um, they're really cute. So you get other ideas in there. So you get ideas about doing some cross stitching and I've got a cross stitch die, so I should do some more. Some bits with hydrangeas, some masculine cards, lots of giveaways, a bit of mixed media. And then next month, I was like to show you what you can get next month because I'm actually gonna get it because I've got a subscription. It says flowers and kind of a, what's it look like? Like a flower border. So no, leafy border, I guess, die. Not as tempted by this one. The stamps are cute, though. But really like the one that came this month. So that one goes at $7.99 now. Wow, they put the price up. That's probably why they gave you a good gift. But now $7.99 craziness. It was about $4.99 when I first started getting it. But anyway, I've got that on a subscription. So I'll show you what I had a go at making. Um, so I made this card. You can see how I've gold embossed onto some vellum. I found some vellum in my collection and die cut out these butterflies and they die cut out beautifully. And then the background, this leaf, leafy bit is from the stamp as well. And have a good day, was that from then? I think that was from another set, but really cute. And then I added a bit more patterned vellum in there because I got into vellum at that point. So really pretty, those butterflies, just love them. So I had another go on this one, but when I was sticking my vellum down, it just didn't do as, as quite as well, I don't think, on this card. But I love how the butterflies came out. Until I stuck them down, they didn't look quite as good when I stuck them down. But that pink embossing um, powder just looks gorgeous on the vellum. And then I white embossed just a flower in the background just to sort of give it an effect. That's just one of my own stamps. I think it's a Dali, Dali, Dali stamp seeing if I had it to hand, but I don't know what I've done with it. It's one of these Dali Art, but it's not that one. It's, it's one of those, but it's not that one. But that's the brand. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I picked these up at Craft Fair before. I think they're a UK one, Dali Art.co.uk. Really pretty though, isn't it? But that's what I used for the background and then just added some little jewels on there. So those were so cute, those butterflies. And then I had a quick go with these um, just making a really simple card with these elephants. So it's stamped out really nicely. That's just with some lawn fawn ink and the hello is from there as well. And then I just laid it up with a few hearts. I just thought that's really cute and simple. So that was what came with that magazine. Let's try and pick it up without destroying everything. And last but not least, I've got craft stampers. It's the last one I get last time I'm getting this one that I decided to to stop subscribing to it. I kind of started because it was on like a really cheap deal, but it's not necessarily my style all that much. It's really pretty and great ideas, but I don't always get drawn into the, the style of it. But they did have something that caught my eye this time. Just looking to see if I could see where it was, and I'll show you what I created using it. Could be absolutely anywhere, couldn't it? Oh, here we go. So this whole stamping onto fabric idea and then kind of sewing, let's bring it up closer so you can see, and then sewing different outfits. And I had a go, although mine looks quite different, but I stamped a little girl onto this bit of fabric here. Um, and then I sewed on her little bow and her little dress and then just painted the rest with acrylic paints and stamped on a bit and I stuck it onto a, an acrylic bit but that was good fun mixing sort of sewing that's this stamp which I absolutely love mixing a bit of sewing and painting so it does get you doing something different I suppose that magazine so that was pretty cool um so it's craft stamper this one so it say what issue it is July 2018 and that's four 
99 and the free gift I put all my craft stamp of free gifts into this little box and I've already stamped them out so I show you it was these ones on here this little flower and so I stamped it out and that's what it comes out like that I'm not sure what I use them for but it's quite nice to have those cute little stamps for one day so that is my magazine haul so far and I'll be back soon with a different haul because I've picked up some other bits and pieces since I've sort of last had a chance to film and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.